Live coming at you with another one of my reaction videos. Today I will be reacting to the death battle between Leon and Frank. Now, personally, we got Capcom's best zombie killers here. I, I grew up with Leon. I absolutely love Resident Evil. I remember when I first saw my cousin play Resident Evil 4 on the PS2 for like back when it was first released and I immediately thought, wow, this got to be super cool. It's an adult, big, your, you know, your typical big boy zombie killing game. And I, I fell in love with Resident Evil ever since. Dead Rising I didn't grow up with so much, but I still do love Dead Rising. I played all of them. They're great game series, Dead Rising. As of who I think will win this fight, it's a toughie. Because uh, while, yes, we got Frank, who is obviously going to make incredible use of his... Uh, skills to create any weapon out of anything on the field he's got all crazy kinds of weaponry and stuff uh, he's got his camera he's uh, he's pretty durable not gonna lie he's taking on SWAT guys pretty similar to Leon but the thing is about Leon he's not just any kind of you know police or SWAT guy he's like the best his fighting style is off the charts he deals with zombies and BOWs and all kinds of big shit but much bigger stuff than Leon puts up with, than Frank puts up with, in my opinion. The most that Frank ever puts up with are like psychos, and they're just regular, just regular humans. So I don't know. I really want to say Leon, but I feel like that weapon customization thing is gonna give Frank the edge he needs. So at the moment, I'm not sure. I'll have to see more after our analysis here. So without further ado, let us begin this sucker in three, two, one, a go. <laughs> Surviving the undead apocalypse takes grit, perseverance, and an army's worth of firepower. With all that and some luck, oh, these two became it. experts in zombie fighting. Leon Kennedy, yeah, the Leon. top cop and government agent Welcome. in Resident Evil. Got great and hair. Frank West, the backyard wrestling MacGyver of Dead Rising. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. Oh, and Resident it's our job to analyze four. their weapons, armor, and skills to find out Welcome. who would win a death battle. What? Not in 3D? Are you serious? As a child, Lame. Leon Scott Kennedy's father instilled in him a strong sense of justice. Following in his footsteps, Leon joined the police force, determined to uncover the, the darkest really riddles and uphold the law. So, for his first ever assignment, he took the biggest challenge he could find. Instead of picking an easy job like dishing out dastardly parking tickets, he was off to Raccoon, Raccoon City, City to investigate a bunch of mysterious murders. His instincts were good, perhaps too good. Officer Kennedy wound up choosing the most challenging and dangerous assignment he possibly could have. Yeah, it turns out Trash Panda Town was due for a trash big old zombie Panda. outbreak, and Leon got stuck in the Panda. middle. How's Panda. that for hazing the rookie? He wasn't a rookie for long. After fending off the zombie threat well, and even taking a bullet, yep. from the grassy knoll, Leon was recruited by the American government as a special agent, bodyguard, and their go-to specialist for apocalyptic events. In all cases, the people that are bitten become infected themselves and go on to attack others. The only way to stop the spread of infection is to destroy the infectees' brains. Shoot them in the head. <laughs> His training at the police academy Claire. turned him into a pretty tough guy, but as a special That's agent, he became unstoppable. All thanks to his extensive firearms training, extreme driving tests, and the study of tactical response scenarios. Guess what martial art they teach American Secret Service members? A traitorous Russian oh, one called idea. Sistema, and Leon is an expert it's at it. Chris. Sistema is a free form martial art focusing on disabling targets via pressure points and joints. While not specifically lethal on its own, Sistema also involves quite a lot of training with knives and firearms. <laughs> oh, That's so good, because I don't think fists would be enough to take on monsters like the tyrants, skinless dogs, and... Is that Lickers. Gene Simmons? Right, these bio-organic yeah, weapons, like or BOWs, were disgusting. far tougher than your ordinary run-of-the-mill zombie. Thankfully, Leon has the weaponry to take them on. He's efficient with just about any kind of gun, but like me, he the loves carrying around his favorites, Always including the, the Silver the Ghost, the a unique pistol off. specifically designed for him. He's also got a modified 50 caliber Desert Eagle Magnum, a gift from his father. Lucky bastard, all I ever got from my dad was a sore cheek. While he has no problem dual wielding handguns, Leon is extremely proficient in dealing damage with heavier weapons, such as the M203 grenade launcher or his ludicrous rocket launcher yeah, special. Oh, this red tipped wrecker of an RPG is far more powerful than an ordinary propelled grenade. The gun itself looks similar to a classic RPG 7 model, first used as an anti tank weapon by the Soviet Union. Since the red grenade is so deadly, it 
It's Maybe probably a thermobaric it. explosive booster, which can launch over 600 feet for a 60-foot wide explosion. That's more than enough to take down one of those Bow Wows. Leon has wow. plenty of experience with hand grenades, rifles, flamethrowers, etc., but one weapon stands above them all. His knife. Yeah, we fucked Oh, oh my yeah. god, the reaction time we fucked Krauser. knife is way that more than dope. some plain old red cutter. He's practically magic when it comes to his skill with a knife. And if he gets hit, he'll be fine. Probably. I mean, he's wearing lightweight level 3 tactical body armor, which can stop bullets from a magnum and even some rifles. If he does take a hit, he's carrying some healing herbs, which he can also take a hit from, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> he's not snorting drugs, Boomstick. <laughs> healing herbs have a history of being applied as an aerosol spray or ground up within paper. Well, once Leon became the government's numero uno answer to all of their zombie problems, he was stopping outbreaks all over the world. He had to pull off some awesome feats to do it. He even had to make some horrible sacrifices along the way. Like that poor, poor Ducati. Leon is strong enough to crush a skull or even force open the jaws of a giant infected shark. Uh, the yep. shark appears to be similar six. in size to a great white, which has a bite strength of nearly two tons of force. That shit's crazy! And He's speaking of which, let's thing. talk a little bit about Leon's oh, relationship like with boulders. Yeah, oh relationship with what? Boulders! You, you know, so they're like really big rocks. I think you would know that. Well, he fought Chris Redfield to a standstill, the famous boulder puncher himself. Dude, and while boulder, Leon doesn't seem to have Chris's brute strength, he did push over this giant rock with a little help. Leon is pretty quick too. He's dodged bullets, a moving laser grid, and even outraced this tyrant, which, according to the Inside of Biohazard Guide, could run up to 43 miles per hour. He's even thrown his trusty knife fast enough that this creepy guy didn't even react until, uh... Oh. The average time for a person to perceive and react to movement is a quarter of a second. Leon appears to be about 30 feet away from his target Salazar here, meaning yeah, he I'd threw his see. knife around 80 miles per hour. Right the hand average comes speed off. for most world-class <laughs> knife throwers is only 35 miles per hour, so he's more than double that. Leon is tough having survived blows from various large and burly B.O.W.s. He even matched the strength of Umbrella Agent Jack Krauser. Krauser was strong enough to perform a 30-foot vertical jump. Generally, men can pull off a 2-foot vertical jump at most, Krauser making tough. Krauser potentially 15 times stronger than the He's average the man. At this before. point, let's just say that Leon is basically superhuman. Yeah, it's he like is. he has zero weaknesses. Au contraire, Boomstick, Leon has his fair share of baggage. Uh, a lot of times He's like pretty Ada. gullible, oftentimes tricked yeah. by those wilier than himself. Go, save yourself. She's, is she's it just me, or does everybody always ignore what I say? She's like so her? You think he just might be trying to get laid? Lord yes. knows I've done a few really dumb is. things on that quest. I don't know about his chances, though, rocking that hairdo. But after more than 15 years of nightmarish catastrophes, Leon's mental state has become more fragile and more reliant on alcohol. Hey, uh, not as you bad and me as Chris. both, pal. He always Chris needs a little chaos in his life, six. and when it comes down to it, that's what makes him such a friggin' badass. Better try a new trick, cause that oh, one's okay. getting old. I love it. Uh, all right. Frank Upon is first too, impression, Frank West seems to just be your although average Resident, journalist, but is he's far more than that. I'll say, like he's covered wars, you know. Ah, As a photojournalist, Frank will regularly go far beyond the call of duty punch, to uncover his next big he's scoop. It was this ironclad determination which led him to a mall in the town of Willamette, Colorado, where he found the zombie apocalypse. What? Did you just say zombies? But Frank's down to rough up dozens of That's zombies how, every how now and then. Is. And with his wrestling like history working. and battlefield it's experience, like he's got the skills to, to do it. Evil. Despite it really never is. having fired a gun at another person before Willamette, Frank discovered he's a natural when it comes to firearms. He's handy with all sorts of guns, like pistols, shotguns, machine guns, and a Toilet beautiful minigun. Oh, yep, I love it! Suit. He's even got a, a silver guns. ghost! A unique pistol specifically designed for government agent Leon G- <laughs> Hey, wait a minute! But bullets can only last so long against a never-ending zombie horde, 
so Frank was yeah. forced to improvise. Oh, man. What, and thanks what to being in a shopping mall, he had plenty of options. Of From obvious choices like sledgehammers, baseball bats, and chainsaws, to out-of-the-box picks like shampoo, lipstick, lawnmowers, and a shopping cart, Frank has an uncanny ability to effectively weaponize pretty much anything he gets his hands on. Garbage, toys, food, you name it, this guy does not overlook anything's death-dealing potential. He even uses his camera flash as a weapon. His primary camera appears to be a Nikon D100, which has a flash color temperature of 6000K, or crystal white. When used up close, it's nearly as effective on the eyes as a flashbang grenade. Anyway, Frank survived the zombie horde with flying colors. His next step was obvious. Profit from it! He became <laughs> famous overnight. He was named the Hero of Willamette, hosted a TV show, and scored all sorts of endorsements. His love of using baseball bats to smash zombie skulls in even landed him a great commercial deal with Deadwood Pro Baseball. Damn, so he's making tons of money off of killing people. My dream. <laughs> I know, right? All these zombies were technically people once, so when you really think about it, this whole situation is pretty freaking awesome! Ah, oh, living the dream, buddy. <laughs> you earned it. Uh-huh. Anyway, fame is a fickle mistress, and it wasn't long until Frank's 15 minutes of fame were cut short. He eventually became a college teacher, but not before several more encounters with the undead kind. And the more he fought him, the more creative he got about it. Frank's greatest yeah, asset is his impressive ingenuity. With nothing but his blood, sweat, and tears. And a shitload of duct tape. Frank perfected the art of combination weapons. Oh, yes. Like the paddle saw, paddle where he saw, took a kayak closer, paddle and strapped on a couple chainsaws for a rip-roaring good time. The electric crusher is an invention combining the power of battery, a car battery with the weight of a sledgehammer, crafting a Mjolnir for mortals. The Blitzkrieg is a freaking wheelchair <laughs> powered by a car I was battery like a giant teddy firing bear machine with guns, guns all over the place. Stephen like Hawking could have even beat everyone. death with that. He can make a laser sword by sticking a gem Jewelry into a flashlight. flashlight. Don't ask me how. <laughs> and the Reaper is the unholy union of sickle oh, and samurai oh, sword. Sickle, yeah. Wow. No, that is just scratching the surface. He's even got combo vehicles like the Exo Suit. That's a suit made of slurping machines. Which shoots ice tornadoes? <laughs> Talk about cool! Pun intended! Even stranger, Frank has used an arcade machine to miraculously copy some of the powers of fellow Captain Dante characters. and You're a wizard, Frankie! And Mega no, he's not magic. These powers come directly from costumes most commonly Maybe obtained from the machine. Hager, For example, Dante he can don Ryu's key to perform hurricane kicks, or Mega Man X's armor complete with a Mega Buster. You are what you wear. Speaking of costume changes, sadly, Frank eventually My was caught by zombies was and wound up becoming another mindless slave of the undead horde. But it's okay, he got better. Frank has pulled off a lot of impressive feats. Despite having little formal training aside from maybe a three-day combat journalist crash course, he's killed hundreds, maybe thousands of zombies, giving him one of the highest body counts in video game history. He's really strong, that. too. He can pull a zombie's, zombie's limbs zombie's and head off, no problem. And in the exosuit, he's pushed Get around a two-ton car. He's tough enough to survive long falls and devastating helicopter crashes with little issues. And he's quick enough to catch up to and board a train moving 15 miles per hour in less than three seconds. He can even hop off zombies' heads like a ninja so well that the zombies he barely even the notice. Wait, the they don't notice that he's literally jumping off their heads? How the hell does he pull that off? Very careful. But Frank has fought more than just mindless zombies. Yeah, he's fought yeah, like some crazy clowns with chainsaws and a freeze gun, and plenty of other psycho maniacs. This is my stuff! Hey. Including uh, Lance Corporal crazy. Calder, the world's first intelligent soldier zombie. Also, I think it's important to note many of these feats were performed in a span of 72 hours with no sleep or rest. According to a study on sleep deprivation in 2010, an average human's physical and mental health begins to severely deteriorate after 36 hours of no sleep, resulting in disorientation and even hallucinations. He was able to do Here I thought heavy drinking was the only way to legally hallucinate. Well, time to binge Netflix until I trip balls! Whether by inhuman stamina or just a shit ton of adrenaline, Frank was in peak condition for twice as long as he should have been. There's that journalist determination again! Sure, he may be a bit of a self-serving asshole, but he's pulled off the impossible more than once, even when he got into his 50s. Once a survivor, always a survivor. Snag your very own disposable Digi-Jeep disposable camera.
It's fantastic! <laughs> I mean it. Seriously. I need a raise. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. All right, the combatants are set. Let's end this debate Frank once and for all. Like but first, let me tell you about how you can be the MacGyver of the kitchen. It's a toughie because, I mean, yeah, Frank seems like he, that whole 72 hour thing kind of making me reconsider now because he does have a lot of strength and stamina. But I feel like Leon has done bigger feats. Yeah, Frank has probably killed more zombies than Leon has. But the thing about Resident Evil Universe is that POWs are like mutants in a sense. And there's only like, I think, three special types of zombies in Dead Rising. There's not many. Like, there's some of the acid ones that spit shit or something. There are really not too many special types of zombies in Dead Rising. There's a crap ton in Resident Evil. So many. I feel like the, the, the fact that he can take hits from POWs and all the kinds of that shit is what makes him stronger. So, I, I can't, I, I'm gonna go with Leon on this one. He can, he can so adapt to what Frank does in terms of weird weapons and stuff. It's nothing too new that he hasn't come across. I mean, I believe in him. Now, it's time for a right. death battle! Come on, Leon! Come on, Leon! With the evacuation complete, state officials are prioritizing outbreak containment. Yet there are still reports of looters within He's the city. Got the Who knows what these people think is worth braving certain doom to get? Sweet! <laughs> Just what I was looking <laughs> for. Ah, the surfbot helmet, of course. Of course you'd get that. What are you doing? No one's supposed to be here. Ah. Never stopped me before, pal. <laughs> <laughs> That's good conflict. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh. Now. Batter up! I think Leon's combat is also better than Frank's. Ooh. Oh. 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 See you in a blast, buddy. Oh. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> oh, damn. I'm all just Capcom. Oh, Zambos. Lots of Zambos. It's gonna be like a temporary work together sesh right here. Oh, here we go. Whoa. Yo, yo, yo. Oh, damn. Ooh. I'm gonna get a shotgun. Okay, I get my. Give it up, man. You can't keep up with me. Yeah, right. Wanna bet? I've covered wars, you know. Nah! Nice, Frank. Oh. Uh -huh. That's nice, Frank. <laughs> Ooh, the Ripper! I Ooh. Oh, that's nice. I fought. Oh, God. This whole thing where he gets that, that's Lucky called me. That's fucking weird, man. Now he's got X powers. Grenada! Incendiary grenade! <laughs> oh my god, what fuck? Sir <laughs> <Surf> on! <laughs> oh shit! Leon! Oh shit! Come on, heroes. What has he got now? Oh, that mech suit! Nice to meet you. <laughs> Why don't you chill out? Oh my god. No, no. Come on, Leon. You can do it, man. You can do it. Oh yeah, the special rocket launcher. Come on. Come on. Here we go. Yeah, come on, Leon. Oh. <laughs> it was ice fighting with you, buddy. Come on. Oh. No, 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 no! Come on, Leon! What are you gonna do? Game over. Ah, shit. Yeah! <gasps> Fuck! Boy, Leon! Something yeah! tells me Frank won't be coming back from the dead this time. Frank's cheeky strategies and endless creative arsenal certainly put up a good so fight. Much. 
But in the end, Leon just had him beat in nearly every other category. <laughs> Frank was one was tough so cookie, but Leon's superhuman abilities were just more impressive. Frank's pushed the two-ton yeah, car, right? I I yes, which is similar abilities. to Leon holding back the shark's two-ton biting force. But, he's also but his boulder feat yeah. was much more impressive. I By comparing the boulder size to Leon, it appears to have weighed around nine tons at minimum. While Leon did have help pushing it, even half of nine tons is much heavier than anything Frank's lifted or pushed. <laughs> Leon and Frank seemed equally tough, but Leon was definitely quicker. Bullet timing, laser dodging, and hell, Leon's yeah. speed and precision with his knife I on its own is shit, more impressive than any speed feat Frank's got. But in the end, the most important question was whether or not Leon could cope with Frank's insane weaponry and unpredictable and I said creativity. He probably could. But Leon seen plenty of yeah, crazy shit in his exactly. career, and fought lots of surprising and off-putting monsters. His years of formal training and more yeah, consistent so combat records certainly lent him the experience needed to win. He's survived numerous battles with enemies powerful enough to one-shot him, and he's shown plenty of creative strategy and critical thinking mid-fight. Like when he fought Tyrant Glenn, using momentum from his own injuries and throwing a freaking motorcycle through the air! Leon was just too fast, too strong, too experienced, and too badass. He was frankly on his game. <laughs> the winner is Leon. Yeah, Kennedy. Leon. Oh, that's a cool scene too from Resident Evil 4. Thanks for watching this episode of Death Battle. If you want to check out commentary for this uh, episode, you can click the little box right even there for a first time. I never even thought of this fight. I really and love how this fight turned out. Fight, go ahead and do so. It's down. I'm in very the happy with uh, Leon. All right, who is it? Doctor Strange versus Doctor Fate. I've been requesting this. Yes, 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 yes. Yes! That's another one I've requested so many times. And I'm Doctor Strange by Doctor Fate. Oh, it's gonna be a good one too. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, leave a comment over the thoughts that you react to in the future, and I will see you guys next time. Laters!